my slice and take a look. All right, my mouth is already watering. I just walked into the studio. I'm here with TJ Verano from Scudo and Sons, a family brand, uh, an Italian heritage that goes yeah. back more than 50 years. And this is what they do best. They serve some of the finest hotels and restaurants around the country with the most delicious and juicy and tender meats. Tonight, we're gonna launch their first ever today's special so congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so uh, much, The Sarah. prime rib, already a fan favorite, already one of their best sellers. We brought it back at an incredible value for one day and one day only. But that's not all. We also are giving you an option of shopping for the boneless carver ham. All you do is pick your favorite. And if you just can't resist, why don't you get both? Because you'll actually save the best value is if you get both the prime rib and the boneless ham. But come on in and take a look. Uh, we'll give you an option for delivery dates as well. You can pick delivery right now because these are ready to go, or you can do 327, which would time it perfectly for all your Easter meals and your family entertaining. But uh, we all love to eat here at HSN, so TJ, welcome <laughs> back. And okay, amazing, but the smell is absolutely delectable. Look at how <laughs> juicy this is. Tell us about your prime rib and why this is so special. Yeah, thank you so much, Sarah, for having me. So excited to be here at HSN, share this whole day with you today. And uh, like you said, this prime rib is amazing. And what it really starts with is that premium source that we're getting. And when you look at this prime rib, what the, the raw material we start with is that black Angus cattle. And you're gonna ask me throughout the day today, what is black Angus cattle? Black Angus cattle, there's only so many cattle in the world that qualifies as black Angus cattle. So we know truly where our meat comes from. And that's so important. And that's why you see all this flavor and these juices running through this beautiful prime rib. And if you look here, that's why it looks so perfect when you cut it. It is end to end. You can eat this. It's hand trimmed by our expert butchers. I actually married into the family of a, uh, a butcher, an Italian butcher, my wife, uh, her father. And I said to him, you know what? I grew up in the kitchen with my father with all these amazing recipes. And I wanted to find a way to make it more convenient and spend more time around the kitchen table with my family and less time like my father. He was always in the kitchen and mm -hmm. always, mm -hmm. everything was so messy and his, his shirt was always oh, a mess. Oh, look at that. Is that your dad right yeah, there? Yeah, that is. That's Scudo from, you know, obviously Scudo and Son. And I just really wanted to get around the kitchen table with my family. And you could see in the video there, my two little girls, Rosie and Scarlett, helping me butter the prime rib, which I'm gonna show you uh, in a little bit here, Sarah, how we prepared that beautiful prime rib before we put it in the oven. and they now become my little helpers in the kitchen, just like I was for my dad growing up. How about that? Yeah. Uh, well, this comes at a perfect time for so many of us. Uh, we're looking forward to gathering with family and friends for all of our spring entertaining. And today we are launching our great gatherings event. It's 24 hours of food and fun. We'll be in the kitchen. We'll be giving you all the tools and the tips and the tricks that you need to entertain. I love my family. I love entertaining, I love to eat, but TJ, as I told you earlier, I really hate to cook, so uh, <laughs> the fastest way I can get out of the kitchen and spend more time enjoying great conversation, laughing, talking, being with your family and your loved ones. There's no better way than when you treat them to a wonderful meal. And your meal deserves a centerpiece. And that's what we're doing as our best value of the day. The prime rib, true black Angus beef, perfectly marbled, full of fat and full of flavor. The perfect combination. You are getting a four pound prime rib as one of your options. And that comes with the most amazing Epicurean herb butter. So it'll give you all the directions. It comes frozen, it comes vacuum sealed, and it's super easy to heat up at home. The other choice you have, and the prime rib right now is available for you at our 
one day only price. And I want to get that price exactly right, uh, guys. I think it's $129.95. There you go. $129.95 for the prime rib. If you want to pick up the ham, we'll talk about that. It's only $69.95 for the boneless carver ham. It's an amazing ham. It's already been smoked. It's a perfect savory flavor with a wonderful glaze that gives you just that perfect touch of sweetness. That's also about four pounds. Each of them serve between eight and 10 people, depending on the serving size. If you want to get both, we have our best value on the combo because you might be like, someone wants ham, someone wants prime rib, or maybe you're gonna have the ham on Easter, and this is Mother's Day or Father's Day for an amazing prime rib. You'll save $20 off the ham if you get the combo. So just to put it out there, best value if you want them both. And how long do they last in the, in the freezer? I'm glad you asked me that, Sarah, because these are gonna come to you exactly how you see this packed right here. And this is gonna come to you individually, vacuum sealed, to lock in all that freshness and you're gonna get the two butters, like you mentioned, each three and a half ounces. I love these butters that come with it, they're great. These are gonna stay frozen and good in your freezer for up to a year. So you can pull this out a year from wow. now and it's still gonna be great. And I'm glad you mentioned it with the combo too because if you have a large family, right now it's just my, my wife and I and our two girls at home and it's only four of us so we might just take the prime rib out for Easter and then come back to the ham for Mother's mm. Day. But if you have a large family at home then you could just opt in for both of them and, and serve both of them. Uh, and the it, ham looks yeah. amazing. Let's talk about the ham a little bit. Yeah. This, this might be your hardest choice today. I know, I know it's midnight on the East Coast, but this is when we launch our best value of the day. And this is also the best opportunity to lock in your favorite, whether you want the single, whether you want the combo. We could also bill it to you and we can ship it directly to mom and dad. In fact, I already was calling my sister before the show and I'm like, <laughs> what do you guys want for Easter? Yeah. I'm sending you a ham. Talk about that ham. Look at how soft and moist and juicy yeah. it is. You can really see my knife going right through it. Again, starts with that premium ingredient. These, uh, you know, the farmers that we have these relationships with that are raising the hogs that this uh, this ham is, is coming from. And you can see there's no fat anywhere on this. You can eat this end to end. It's hand trimmed and it's already cooked, but you're just gonna throw it in your oven for uh, 350. Uh, 350 degrees mm -hmm. and 40 to 45 minutes and this is the outcome and you can see that beautiful glaze that it comes with and okay, what I do is I like to cut it and then serve it a little bit with the glaze so I'm, if you want I'll cut you a piece here thank Sarah. you so, look I at mean, this. it's a feast it's for the amazing, eyes right? I, mean, I mean who would not be impressed yeah I mean this is five-star restaurant quality talk about what goes into selecting your meats because not only do you have experience with the family as a butcher, yeah. you and your Italian father, who was an immigrant to the United States, yeah. uh, many, many decades ago, established another family business dedicated to food, dedicating to bringing incredible quality products into the home. Yeah. So where does it all begin? Yeah, so it all really starts with that. Mm. First, it starts with the great okay, relationship. that is so good. Amazing. Oh, so, so tender, good. right? My kids love it. Uh, they love ham and cheese This is not leftover. like the ham that you get at the grocery store, <laughs> no, right? It is, no, it is not. This, uh, this, this is, is the so same. soft. It's not chewy. It's not dry. Yeah, and, and just mm. like with this ham, usually when you see this ham, it's at the end of a buffet line, and there's a chef right. standing there with a beautiful jacket on with a nice hat, and the reason why is because it's a showstopper. When people come to your house and they smell the mm. ham and they look at this beautiful ham, they are going to just be amazed by, they're going to say, how did you, how did you you get this ham where did you get it from and it starts with that premium source right and these relationships that we've built with these farmers that are raising these animals it, they've been relationships that we've built for the last five decades so when we really truly know where our product comes from and this is the result it's smoked over applewood so you probably get a little bit yeah, of that applewood flavor yeah. the smoky taste not too heavy and i really think the glaze is a nice touch for it and the glaze is simple to make it comes in a little powder bag and you just add a little bit of water. And look at how incredibly moist it yeah. is. Look at how tender it is. And it's already smoked. Correct. So all you do is really heat it up in the oven? Yeah. Yep. 350 degrees. And can for 40 I do to that? Minutes. Yeah. I anyone. have absolutely. I 
very few skills in the kitchen. <laughs> My, my, you know, it's funny. My, my but I can turn on the oven. I can tell you that, yeah. DJ. Any, anyone can turn on the oven, right? And that's what I, I, I like to pride myself in is oh. uh, that I am not a chef, but uh, these are easy, convenient At glaze. products. glaze. And yeah. it's not too sweet. No, it's it's not. And, and and what's great about the glaze, what I want you to do is when you get this ham at home, I only want you to, when you cook it, I only want you to slice off what you're going to serve. Okay. And the reason why is because when you have this for leftovers, the, the whole end that's still here intact mm -hmm. that you're not serving at dinner that night, for leftovers, it's gonna keep it more moist when it's intact. So you don't wanna slice this all up and then keep it in the refrigerator. You wanna just slice what you're gonna serve, okay. glaze it as you serve it, and put the rest away for leftovers if you have leftovers. I am learning so yeah. much about <laughs> ham tonight. Uh, so don't get carried away, don't cut up the whole thing. Only yes. slice what you need, and it stays moist, and it stays fresh, and it stays delicious, and it stays so juicy and tender. <laughs> Your family is going to die and go to heaven every time they have a bite of this incredible ham. Now, remember, the ham, you can pick if you want delivery right now or if you want delivery 327. It doesn't matter how you slice it, you can put it in the freezer and you can eat it anytime. But we just wanna give you options. Maybe you don't have room in your freezer right now, but you're like, yes, please deliver in time for Easter. Easter is April 9th, by the way, in case you don't have your calendar in front of you. Uh, so the ham is gonna melt in your mouth. I just wanna go back to the prime rib for a moment and yeah. remind you that the other choice is the prime rib. Uh, I didn't get a bite of the prime rib. Would yeah. you like to let's slice get, me yeah, let's get you one, a, little, a little more? So then will. we're gonna talk about all the ways you can serve this. Yeah. Both of these will feed eight to 10 people. Tell us why you chose Black Angus. Right. Black Angus cattle, it really starts with, there's only so many that qualify as Black Angus cattle. And when we were seeking out these partners, these farmers who have become family to us that we wanna work with, we are trying to source the best, most premium ingredient, and it starts with Black Angus. When you can sit there and say that there's only so many cattle in the world that qualify as this product, this Black Angus product, that's when you know you truly have a partner Ooh, in that farmer. How about that? Mmm. And so what, usually you have to buy this at a restaurant. Yeah. Buy the slice. Yeah, so this Why? actually comes, so if you think about the mm. prime rib, you hear the word rib. So this hard. is actually the roast that the ribeye comes from. So the ribeye is my wife's favorite steak. Mm -hmm. um, she's not a filet mm, mignon kind so of girl. Good. Really tender, right? It's because it's that ribeye. When you go to the restaurant and you want to get that so amazing good. ribeye, this is the roast I need another one. that it's coming from. Oh, give me some of those juices too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here's what's already happening. We're already very busy. Most of you are like, can't decide. I'll get the combo. And that's a great decision. That's the way to do it. I'll tell you why. You can buy them separately, but what would you spend another $20 more than just the price of the combo? So get the ham or get the prime rib, but the best value, dollar for dollar, ounce for ounce, pound for pound, is the combo. It means really that like you're saving $20 off the ham when you purchase the combo. They are ready to cook, they are ready to serve. You don't have to go to the grocery store. You don't have to stand in line. Here's what would drive me crazy too when I end up posting. <laughs> I get anxious about entertaining. And then I worry and stress the whole time, how's the meal gonna turn out? Yeah. Is, it, is it cooked? Is it done? Did I buy the right cut? Did I put it in the oven at the right time? Yeah. This comes with all the instructions, so you can't mess this up, and your family's gonna sit down to a prime rib dinner. Yeah. You couldn't take them out to dinner for the price of this rib no, roast, absolutely right? absolutely not. No, you cannot. And, it, and if you mm. want, we could, I could step over here and show you how I prepared this prime rib that we're looking at. Let's do that, okay. and in the meantime, you might be wondering, what would I serve with prime rib and ham? Well, Scudo and Sons already thought of that. Yeah. And we've got two amazing side dishes. Now these are very, very limited. Yes. They'll probably sell out tonight, actually, uh, because we don't have nearly as many of these to go around as we do our amazing prime rib and our ham. But you can order scalloped potatoes, yeah. two, two pound servings. It's a massive side amount of these incredible side dishes, or you can order the spinach, the cream spinach, or just like our today's special, you can order both and you'll get one of each of the two pound serving dishes. These are also already made. Yeah, so they're they're ready to cook, so they're gonna come mm. in an ovenable tray. Let me try these two. 
Yep, they're gonna come in an ovenable tray ready for you to uh, just pop in the oven. And you can cook them side by side with these roasts, the ham, the prime rib oh, or the ham. that cream spinach. Yeah, fresh spinach, a little bit Let's of sour just have cream, a, a some moment. cream cheese in there. What are these cheeses? <laughs> it's amazing, right? These and are this, so, this like melts in your mouth. The, these are the kind of, si you, when you go to that, that mm. amazing restaurant that you love to go to, Sarah, this is the kind of side. Mm. I always I always go to the bottom of the menu because that's where they hide yes. all the, they hide all the that's delicious the sides. That's where the good stuff is, right? Exactly, yeah. So I like to always find those great sides. And that's what you're getting with these. It's all premium ingredients. Fresh spinach with that. Ooh, the hand sliced. Potatoes. Yep, the hand sliced potatoes that we're throwing in there with our cheeses, a little bit of Cream. They're yeah, giant hand sliced scallop potatoes. I would I yeah. would never have the patience or the energy to make this at home. So we do have those available for you. You can get one or the other, or you can get both. And you can also, I believe, choose your delivery date on the sides. They also go right into the freezer. Yeah, you can keep them frozen. And then you just literally right. pop them in your favorite I like oven to, dish. I like to thaw them out personally. Um, I, what I do at home is I will actually take them and I'll thaw them out because I want to let them you know, get to mm. room temperature a little bit. And then I will actually uh, just pop them in the oven from mm. a thawed state, yeah. The world is a better place with yeah, scalloped potatoes amazing, in it. Amazing, right? Okay, let's talk about how to prepare. Okay. And remember, you need to be ordering these tonight. A lot of these uh, could go very quickly. Uh, we don't have a lot of all of these offers tonight, and I, I'm just so glad you're watching because you're gonna make a great decision. There's a couple ways to place your order, and there's also a couple ways to pay for it. You can pay in full, you can do flex pay, those, interest-free monthly payments on your major credit card. You can also see that little QR code that's right there at the bottom of your screen and you're like, okay, and now I know exactly what I'm gonna do for Easter Sunday or Mother's Day. Uh, maybe you're doing a, a brunch, maybe you're hosting a, a bridal shower, maybe you're doing a graduation. What are you going to cook? You want to spend time with your family. You don't want to spend time in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah and, and that's why this is so easy. When my father was preparing a lot of these dishes around the holiday, I felt like we never got to spend time with him. I felt like he was always in the kitchen. And we used to have to go track him down in the kitchen. So <laughs> what I wanted to do was I wanted to come up with these recipes and these items that we can actually save some time to spend around the table. So what I have here is, this is how we are going to prepare this prime rib. With You're going to take your Epicurean butters. Okay. These are delicious, by the way. My, and these my, are included. They are. They come with a package. My little girls actually take the butter, and they like to just dip bread in it. So they just dip the bread in it because there's so much okay. left over. But what we do is we actually take this butter and we're gonna set, we're gonna spread it all around. It's gonna look like a cake when it's done. It's like you're, I, I tell the girls it's like they're well, like we're baking okay. a nice dessert, right? You're gonna take that. You're gonna heat your oven. Mm -hmm. You're gonna heat it to 475 degrees, right? Then you're gonna take a little bit of red wine. We're Italian, so we always go with the red wine instead of water. Yeah. I learned this trick actually um, by cooking with my father-in-law. Um, my wife's father taught me a trick of. I I take the red wine and I actually put it in the bottom of the roasting pan. And I was always wondering why he was doing that. It creates a nice steam. And when it steams, it doesn't char and burn that product that's in there and set off all the smoke detectors. So you can either take water or, you know, like the Italians like to do, a little bit of red wine. Just add wine. Exactly. So what we do is add a little bit of red wine. Oven's on 475 degrees behind me. So we're gonna okay. take this pan, we're gonna carry it over to our oven. And what you have inside here is the finished product, right? Look I'm going to place this over this here. Thing. So 475 again, is... degrees for 30 minutes. Now here's the trick, Sarah. Yeah. I want you to look at what we have behind me with this oven. This is the door hanger that you're going to get. And it says, do not open oven. Okay. So when it's on 475 degrees, I want you to cook it for 30 minutes. After that, I want you to turn your oven off. Place the door hanger over top of this. And it's gonna to be tough because your house is gonna smell amazing. <laughs> You're gonna have a bunch of cousins right. and everybody Everyone's gonna running over to the oven. What's in the oven? What's in the oven? You have to leave it off for two hours. And this is the end result that you get here. So, so it stays in the warm oven and then and every, that's what, all the flavors exactly. are Exactly. It's locking that in. It's finishing, the, it's finishing the cook process. So we gotta throw that door hanger on there. You're gonna okay. get the door hanger with your order. That's right. It's gonna come in your box so you can use it um, when you're cooking that prime rib. And what the end result is, is this prime rib, you can see the juice is already coming out of it when I wow. put the fork in. But what I want you to do is, I want you to keep it in there for the two hours. If you want it a little bit more well done, I'm actually gonna tell you to keep it in there a little bit longer, an extra 20 minutes. Okay. A little bit less well done, I want you to actually take it 
and open it up a little bit sooner, 20 minutes sooner. Okay, sure. So if it's two hours and 20 minutes for a little bit well done, a little bit shy of two hours if you want it a little bit medium. So, and then what we have here, I'm going to cut into this one right here. You can see the juices that are coming out of it just by pressing on it a little bit. So right down the middle there, and this amazing. is the amazing, and this is a nice medium. This is how I actually like to eat it. And this is the same quality that you yeah. serve, that you ship to some of the finest hotels yes. and restaurants yeah. around the country. And what do they charge for one of those oh, these, slices? For one slice of this ribeye, you're going to see this on a restaurant menu for $65, $75 per slice. Really? Per slice, 10 ounce per slice. Per slice. Yeah. And you're and getting four pounds here. Right. And we're going to give you eight to 10 <laughs> yes. servings yes. Uh, for $129.95 yeah. if you pick the rib roast. Uh, the ham is $69. 95. They're all available on flexible payments, but you've got to order yours right now. Most of you are going for the combo, and you're very savvy for doing that. You get to save another, gosh, I think it's more than 30% off if you pick the combo. It's like basically like getting the ham for 49. I did a little shopping around. There's a there's other companies that deliver hams, <laughs> uh, but I will tell you what, we have a great value tonight. This value is saving you more than 25% off our regular price. And I dare you to compare for the quality, for true black Angus beef, for that generously marbled, incredible flavorful beef, for the full of flavor effect with every single bite. You're getting some of the most juicy, some of the most tender, some of the most delicious mouth-watering, jaw-dropping. This thing is still juicing. I'm ready for drool. the uh, juices that are going to pour <laughs> off the table here. <laughs> I, I think everyone in the crew is drooling right now. <laughs> All of our camera guys We're, are just like staring uh, at the close-ups. It's close amazing, isn't it? Of the You're prime need rib. You're going to mop on the floor but after we're done here. But it's so <laughs> incredibly done. And, and then it literally is going to like fall off your fork. It's just going to melt in your mouth. Yeah. It's going to be the most delicious meal. And, and you're going to be so impressed. Your family's going to be impressed. And you're going to be so thrilled that you did this without a lot of hassle, with the ease, with the convenience of doing this from home. It's going to be in your freezer. And so maybe there is a last minute family gathering. Maybe it is Sunday dinner. You're going to be ready because you'll have either prime rib or you're going to have that incredible boneless ham with that beautiful soft sweet glaze on top ready to go. And all you need to do is place your order right now and we're going to ship this out to you. If you love the idea of getting melt in your mouth prime rib or ham do it now you will you'll get in our best value of the year it's only once this year that we're going to do this so each one comes with two delivery dates either 313 which means it just ships uh in a few days or 327 uh, it doesn't matter when you order it because it can live in your freezer for a year yeah yeah so and and that's the best part about this how about right? one more bite yeah give you yeah. A, a slice here uh, oh and chris is here uh chris is hungry too now i am yeah. so yeah. hungry she it's is hungry chris is bringing us you know when i'm here croissants that means later right the top shelf cuisine croissants <laughs> yes. are here and that means that they go so well with this so i have mm -hmm. to take a bite go for it girl just oh go my right god in. I know, oh you have, my yeah. God, I know you have sharp TJ. knives, no, but I'm, I'm not intimidated. From, I'm gonna step back from <laughs> Now, the croissants mm. are a dinner roll size, which go perfectly with this dinner, mm -hmm. which is so tender mm -hmm. yeah. and so juicy, TJ. Yeah. I, I love that idea. This I'm is, get some of those croissants. This yeah. sounds like <laughs> the through. perfect you dinner. You gotta try the scallops, okay. uh, scallop potatoes, okay. and the yeah. crepes. Okay, paint. well, if you insist, Sarah. I think you should yeah. just I make mean, a plate. I mean, don't tell me twice. Just make All a right. plate, and okay. the rest of the crew, too. This I know sounds your like, watering in the control okay. room. Okay, and, and some of the spinach, too? Yes. Well, okay, I mean. There she goes. Okay, well. You didn't, you you, didn't really need a lot of encouragement, Chris. No, not at all. When it comes to me and Sarah, it's just like, okay. Yeah, we'll just, yeah. we'll just eat. And that's mm -hmm. the great thing is you don't have to cook. I, I, I would be intimidated. I, this if is someone gave me a prime here. rib, I would, I would not have any idea what to do with it. You said cheeses? How many cheeses? Yeah, there, like? there's a little bit of heavy cream. There's a little bit of sour cream. Oh, there's a little good. bit of cheese. It's the good stuff. Oh my um, God. <laughs> and the spinach is fresh, fresh spinach. 
uh, the scalloped potatoes you can hand taste sliced. the quality yeah those those sides are great and, and the reason why I love them is because my dad <laughs> used to make those from scratch wow and he used to spend hours and hours and right. hours we used to say dad what are you spending so much time in the kitchen mm -hmm. we after a while a couple of holidays we used to start thinking yep. like I don't know if dad wants to eat dinner with us and it was because he was spending all this time in the kitchen and he actually was just working away at these fresh ingredients mm. by hand and we wanted to take all the hard work out of it. Chris, we're going to let you go get ready mm. for your croissants, but you can mm. take a plate. Okay. Take a plate to go. Taking Wait. this entire plate. <laughs> Bye, to TJ. Right. Bye, Give her a doggy Sarah. bag. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, actually, I'm sure, I'm sure my dog would love a little taste of yeah. this prime rib. Uh, yeah. uh, we've got about two and a half minutes for you to place your order. We're very busy. I just want to go, kind of go back to the beginning. You can yeah, stay great. there, but I just want to remind yep. everybody what your choices are because it's all good. Like, it's it's so good. It's delicious. It's mouth-watering. This is our great gathering event. We've never never done this before. The prime rib has always been a bestseller. It's the black Angus beef. It's like perfectly marbled. It's juicy. It's tender. It's delicious. We brought back the prime rib at one of the most incredible values. Each one of these options, whether you choose the prime rib or you get the beautiful boneless ham with that beautiful sweet glaze. Look at how beautiful that is. Absolutely gorgeous. That would be like the focal point of the entire meal. That would, that would impress all of your family and friends. Both of these feed eight to 10 people. Both of them are about four to five pounds. You just don't want to miss out and you get the both in the combo. You get them both in the combo. That's the best value. That's the biggest savings. We have side dishes like the scalloped potatoes and the cream spinach. You can get one or the other, or you can get the combo. Wouldn't this be nice to not have to prep anything, not to have to shop for anything? Oh yeah. Uh, most of us do not have time. Oh yeah. Let's no. face it, and right? I, I wanted you to spend all the time you had Ooh, around the kitchen table. Look at that. Yeah, and what I like to do is after I cut it, because I want to save all this if I'm not going to eat it that night, mm -hmm. I'll take a little bit of my glaze that you're going to get. You're going to get it in this little packet here. Okay. Okay. Easy I to make. I take a little bit of glaze, and I just like to spread it over that right before I serve my guests. Oh, so you save a little bit. Yeah, for the table. I, exactly. Or do you put some on before you cook I, yeah, it too? We are going to put some on before, okay. right? So when you actually uh, take the ham out of the packaging mm -hmm. that you're going to get it in, and we okay. have one right here. I see I'll a little you. piece that has my yeah, name on that it. That one's good. Can so I dip is, that in the glaze? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can. I'm going rogue. Yeah. Mm. So this is how you're going to get the ham at home. Oh, so right? good. So this is how it's going to come. It's got our glaze packet right on the outside of it. And this, you can actually see how that smoke, you can see it more when the glaze isn't that on it. Glaze, that glaze? applewood smoke. So good. Yeah. So what we do is we take it out. We're going to take it out of the package, put it on our roasting pan, and then we're going to start to glaze it. I glaze it before I put it in the oven. And okay. it's going to... And, and the reason why is because what we want to do is we want to create oh, that caramelization. Yes. We only have a few seconds left, but yeah. remember, you're going to have leftovers. And that's why I put that out there. You can make a that, ham sandwich. My little girl, Rosie, that's her favorite. Ham a and little, cheese sandwich A little steak and day. salad for lunch. When yeah. you taste these high quality prime meats, again, the same that go in some of the five star restaurants and hotels around the yeah. country, you're gonna love having something that is so rich. How incredible, <laughs> look at that. Yeah, it's amazing, right? This caramelization. Oh, and you can do this at home. They come frozen, so you can easy. pick your delivery, you can pick the ham, you can pick the prime rib. All of our savvy shoppers are getting the combo. It's only one day at this incredible value. So I hope you enjoy our today's special. We're gonna get into the side dishes because we did the little happy dance when we tasted the cream spinach and the scalloped potatoes because they're so good. Yeah. Uh, so let's come back over here. And, and remember, these are all so easy. Every All the hard stuff has been done for you. So where should we start? Pick your... Pick your fave. This is this is the stuff that you grew up with, right? Yeah, the side dishes I, that you grew up with? I'm cream spinach. You're a cream because spinach of that guy. Fr the fresh spinach that's in there. Look at the heavy cream. You can see it. You can see where it really starts with those premium ingredients. And these are sides that would normally take you an hours to make. You would have to go to the grocery store and you'd have to find all these premium ingredients and make them. We put them in ovenable trays that you can just literally pop in the oven. And this is the result. And let me tell you not what you're too getting. Watery. It's not you watery. Can, That's why I love it. This is just half of what you're getting. If you order the yeah. cream spinach, you get two two pound trays, okay? Two two pound trays with the cream spinach. If you order the scalloped potatoes, you get two 
two pound trays of the scalloped potatoes. If you order the combo, you'll get one of each like we're showing you here. So you can also choose your delivery time. You can do 313 or you can do 327. Uh, I need to taste them both one more time. Great. You might be a cream spinach yeah. guy. Oh, I'm a lefty, so I better yeah, go okay, on the other we'll side. Switch. Yeah, we better do the, the lefty <laughs> dance. I always have to sit at the kids' yeah. table. <laughs> they put I, you on the end. I got, I got always, yeah, I always get uh, the end every single great. time, TJ. But yeah. talk about the ingredients. Yeah. And each of these, this, this is not the scalloped yeah. potatoes you buy in a box. No, they're not. And you know what's the, great about it is the they're hand-cut right? Yukon, Yukon gold potatoes. That's the secret. A little bit of heavy look at cream. That. Look at look, I need to taste that crunchy one right there. Yeah, that's a good one. That one has I one. like that one. That one's going in. <laughs> I, I don't know. I better, I better cut that in half. Yeah. Okay. The, the knife. Um, good? Mm, and what's the cheese in the cream spinach? It's a little bit of heavy cream in that, a little mm. bit of sour cream that we're putting in there. And so good. Yeah, I love it. And, and the fresh spinach, you can see it. Look how green it is. It's amazing. Mm. You might have to talk for me for a moment. No, I, I, I'm with you. <laughs> I could sit here all day and just eat these sides. It brings me back to my childhood. I love it. I, and, you know, I that's, was, grew up in the kitchen with Dad, yeah. you know, with my thank dad. Thank you and, for sharing. Yeah, thank you for Your family so traditions. Excuse me. Yeah. Good? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to talk and eat at the same time. It's a good problem to have. Yeah. It's a tough job. Someone's got to do yeah. it. Okay, <laughs> TJ, don't go away. We got more from Scudo and Sons, but I want you to check out our website at hsn.com. We just started a big sale. It just started 30 minutes ago? What is it? Oh, Spring Kitchen and Food. Okay. And we'll have more incredible uh, deals throughout the day. In fact, uh, next hour, we've got a full hour of Kitchen HQ. We've got uh, some brand new items and all kinds of uh, fun little kitchen gadgets next hour. And so you might want to stick around for that. And we'll have some really great deals. And uh, are, we, are we going now? We're, we're going to motor on? You guys just tell me where to go. Oh, we're gonna take a break. Okay, we'll be right back with Italian sausage right after this. At Dial 10 Beauty, we believe in the confidence that lies within you. Every woman deserves to feel empowered, unstoppable, and unapologetically beautiful. Give me 10 minutes and I'll change the way you see yourself. Join HSN in celebrating International Women's Day. We're highlighting collections from woman-owned and founded businesses, including Clover by Joe by Joanna Garcia Swisher, Colleen Lopez Jewelry, Fashion by Rhonda Shear, and Doll 10 Beauty by Doris Dalton. All day Wednesday on HSN and hsn.com. Keep your favorite products coming with AutoShip at HSN. Receive your favorite items with automatic deliveries, easily customize your shipping preferences and shipping is free after your first order plus auto ship locks in your order price while enrolled it's the smartest way to get more of a good thing search auto ship on hsn.com Do you like your Italian sausage sweet or spicy? <laughs> what about you, TJ? I'm the I'm the hot one. I'm the spicy. Okay. I like it. That, that's not, not good. Not too hot. Because I'm on the sweet side. Okay. Uh, and you know, my husband's the same way. He likes everything a little spicy. And we've got great Italian sausage here today. This is new. We've never done the sausage yeah. before. TJ, tell us about the sausage. Yeah, and, and I'm surprised we haven't, you know, uh, Sarah, because What's this, more Italian than the, Italian exactly, sausage? Exactly, the sausage, right? <laughs> we've had the meatballs, and now we have got the sausage. <laughs> and it, again, starts with that premium ingredient. The, 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 um, the fresh pork that we grind this from, and my growing up, my dad used to have me clean all the casings out. 
before he would actually make the sausage. So you can see, if, if you look inside of these, you can actually see a little bit of those fresh ingredients. Do you see like the little uh, particles of the fresh herbs and the fresh spices that are in there? Um, and the sweet sausage. I'll cut you off a slice here too, Sarah, if you want to try it. Mm. You said you like the spicy I, or the, the sweet. sweet one. Yep. Yeah. Let's cut this one. In. Oh, let me grab a fork. Yep. I'll grab it. Let me stick my arm in here for a second. Perfect. So what you get when you order this is four one pound links. So you get a total of four links. Did I get that right? No, four pounds. Yeah, four pounds. It's it's twenty oh. it, it's it's twenty to twenty-four Whoa. links. Uh, four per, pounds correct. Yeah, four. of sweet or hot Italian sausage. Yes. Uh, this is brand new. And let me tell you, there's so many ways to prepare sausage that this could last and last and last, right? I mean, it could be one yeah. meal. How many, how many servings would four pounds of sausage be? Four pounds of sausage. I'm not even going to serve that in one serving. I'm right. going to put some away. You can keep it in the freezer for up to a year. And grilling season's coming up. I oh, love to be on what, the grill. This is what the there four pounds <laughs> look like. This wasn't out <laughs> that, earlier. Yeah. This is four pounds. And this is four pounds. Which yeah. one is the spicy? The spicy is always going to be that darker okay. color, a little bit more mm. of that burnt orange mm. color. That is so good. It's I good. love Italian yeah. sausage and pasta. Oh yeah, me too. And I love that. Pizza so toppings too. Pizza. That's my that's my new one with yeah. the kids, right? Um, trying to get them to eat a little bit more protein mm -hmm. rather than just eating pizza all day. So right. I slice up a little bit of sausage. That's why I slice them up like this. And you can see in front of you, you have the in the pasta the way you like it. Mm -hmm. This is the way I prefer it, right? The, Ita oh, the Italian yeah. me, right? The sausage, peppers, and onions on so it. So my husband's nice from torpedo. Boston. There you go. And little that's like a tradition roll, at right? Fenway Park. You got to go get your, your big yeah. sausage sandwich. Uh, and he loves those. Yep. So what makes your sausage different? Yes, yeah, so it starts again with that premium ingredient. And the relationship we've had with the farmers that are raising these animals have been going back for over 50 years. At this point, they've been in the family longer than some of the family's been in the family, right? So it, it goes back to that premium, fresh, ground pork that we mm -hmm. start with. A little bit of Italian those herbs and spices. Mm. Yeah, I'm setting those ones aside. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. not putting those on the plate. Yeah, that, that has to go in the Sarah pile. Yeah. <laughs> the Sarah take home pile. Uh, that's mm -hmm. great. Those are delicious, but yeah. Well, it's so tender. So tender. You, this, this is so different is, from sausage that you buy at this. the grocery store. No, this is not sausage you buy at the grocery store. Uh, this is, a, and, and you can see these are large links too. This is enough, you know, one of these sandwiches, this sandwich only is, has two on it. But look how large that roll yeah, these is. Yeah, are, these are nice and big and wide. They're oh, not yeah, like the they, little tiny exactly. things that you buy in the box that exactly. you have for breakfast. Yeah, oh uh, no, this isn't, <laughs> this isn't your normal. And, and you know what's great? I like to serve these at breakfast, right? As a little oh. bit of a breakfast sausage. Sure, and you could put it in an omelet too. Oh like yeah, you slice up. it up just like this and put it right in an omelet. So good. And, and a little bit of cheese in there um, with the omelet. And and because they're so big, it's serving it's mm. serving you so much of it. You know, you you can you can literally you don't four even need to eat pounds. all these. I would what are you going to do with four pounds of Italian you're, sausage? You're, this is going to last you through <laughs> either several different yeah. meals or maybe you've got one big <laughs> yeah. giant family gathering. You could feed an army. You're you're going to keep most of it in the freezer. Okay, because that's you're going to pull it out as you need it, and that's the okay. best. And that's the best part would about a lot of these Would this not be products. like the best Father's Day gift ever? Uh, yeah. Now, oh, I forgot to mention, you can also do the combo. You can do just the spicy, which we're calling hot. And by the way, it's not too spicy, right? It's not no. like that's why blow I your doors it's a, it's, off spicy. No, it's not. It's okay. not. I don't want you to be afraid of this spice. It's a, just a little hint of a kick, mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, of that kick to it, but okay. it's not overly bearing. A nice little snap when you when you mm -hmm. bite. A good sausage always has a good little bit of a snap to it when okay. you bite you're into it. Okay, you're tempting me to try yeah. it because um, I, I will do spicy, go if, for it's the not, spicy? if it's not too crazy spicy. I, I want you to trust me okay. on this one, sir. And then you can also do the sweet or you can do the combo. I forgot to mention, if you can't decide to do the combo, yeah. and that means you'll get, what, two pounds of each? I think so. I think you'll, if you do the combo, you get two pounds of each. And, and Otherwise, this, this, is a, this is like, it's this a is a of, lot of Italian it sausage. Is. There's a couple uh, By the way, we don't have a lot of these. They're very popular. Most of you are going for the sweet. I'm I got some, uh, some sweet peeps out there. I'm going one. Okay, now we're doing this, the hot one. That's not uh, too it's spicy. It's not hot, right? It's just a You're little right. bit of a, a kick. kick. You can feel it kind of pop yeah, and tingle exactly. on your tongue. But. And, and that's why I love the combo, too, because half your friends might like, you, uh, don't you know, need at the, the barbecue. Fire exactly. <laughs> at the barbecue, half your friends might want the sweet, half of them might that's want a little true. bit of a kick, you know? Okay, so how do we yeah. prepare our sausage? 
If you look right here, this is the easiest way that I like to prepare it. In the winter time, I might pop it in the oven just because I don't like going outside to the grill. But the skillet's always mm -hmm. an easier, um, you know, way to cook it. A little bit of water in the pan, but like okay. you see here, a little bit of a skillet. Okay, those are yeah, delicious, yeah. and everybody is them. loving sweet or hot Italian sausage. If you can't decide, get them both. That's a brand new item, and you know, everything's at such incredible values today. Shop around. Have you seen what the prime rib that we're doing today, our best <laughs> value of the day? Have you seen that incredible boneless ham with the sweet glaze? Check out our today's special. Keep ordering, because a lot of these may not make it until morning, and I'll tell you what, you will want to be ready to entertain and host some of those incredible events with your family. Okay, we want to mention real quick, we also have lasagna roll-ups. What is a lasagna roll-up? <laughs> a, la la a lasagna roll-up is about a hundred something years of my father's recipe of lasagna that we decided we wanted to make them into some roll-ups that we can keep frozen, pop them out of our freezer and cook as needed. So you can see a little casserole dish that we prepared there. Um, and we, it, this, this looks exactly how I remember growing up. You know, my father would spend all weekend sourcing out those ingredients at the grocery store, and it would take him all weekend just to prepare that Sunday lasagna. And we said, you know what? This takes too much time. Right. It takes way too much time. So how can we make this easier? You could so spend an entire day making all this You food. really can. Uh, from our today's special to yeah. the sausage, the lasagna roll-ups, uh, have some fun. This will be something you'll really look forward to receiving. You'll really look forward to serving. And it'll be one less thing on your plate. We're all, we're all so busy, right? You don't, you don't have the time to do all the shopping, do all the cooking, do all the cleaning. What if it was in your freezer? Uh, we do have to say goodbye to TJ Verano, but I want to mention our today's special. In case in case you're just tuning in and you're like, did she say prime rib? Are we talking about an amazing boneless ham just in time for Easter? We are, hundreds and hundreds of you already placed your order. And you can either choose the ham or you can choose our incredible juicy and tender black Angus prime rib. Most people did the combo. And let me tell you, that's such a great call. If you get the combo, you get the best value, you get the biggest savings, and you also really get to take like $20 off the price of the ham. So, TJ, nice to meet you. Yeah. This was so much fun. I, I, I feel like I'm part well, of the family I, now. I, you are. <laughs> you're, an honorary, uh, you're an honorary member of the Verano family. Okay, so all right. You're welcome anytime at our table. Uh, we'll see you back here uh, first thing in the morning. We'll yeah. have more great presentations, but do know these are limited, so do not miss out. Order yours now. You're going to be so thrilled. Uh, so, TJ, thank you so yeah. much. Don't forget about my doggy bag. Yeah, I'm going to pack this I, all up I for you I wasn't kidding about that. <laughs> I've got a very hungry black lab at home. We would love a little morsel of that. Okay, but we're going to talk about the croissants. Chris Kahutza is here. And thank you so much, Chris, for coming Hi, back Sarah. to HSN. The last time we had these, they sold out. I know. They're so incredible. Imagine this. I know. These are imported from France. Yes. These are real French croissants yes, they are. from a real French bakery with real French butter. Uh, they're yes. flaky, they're piping hot. All you do is pop them in the oven. They melt in your mouth. This is from Top Shelf. You get 20 of them. You can do single shipment, you can do auto shipment. Why is the perfect croissant, one of the most amazing things you've ever tasted. Well, that is exactly what you said, Sarah. <gasps> These are real French croissants that you are going to bake up in your oven. So this is, if you have never experienced what our customers have made, a customer pick year after year. This is ingenious French technology. So these are from frozen, frozen pastries that you are going to bake up at home. So the difference is the real French ingredients. That means French butter, French sweet cream butter, French flour, French milk. And all of this is so simple. It couldn't be any simpler. What happens is we'd send these to your home completely frozen, just like this. Okay, and you'll let me show everyone this. Yes. You so will, they come frozen. They come completely That's a croissant. Frozen. This is a I croissant. I had no idea what a frozen croissant <laughs> looked like before it goes in the oven. And, and before it, you will heat up your oven to 350 degrees, just take out a baking sheet, lay a piece of parchment paper down, and when your oven is at 350 degrees, you just shut the oven door. Once they go in, you'll keep the oven door shut because we want to keep it temperature controlled. Mm -hmm. And after 25 to 30 minutes, they will puff up 
to this. That is just so ingenious. And it, and it, your house will smell like a French patisserie. It and is you get so 20 amazing. Of them. I know. You cannot you get, get this 20. in a grocery store. Okay, I, Nothing I, I, I like it. I just saw my niece over Christmas, and I was so thrilled. We got to do like a niece and auntie day. Yes. And I took her out to her favorite bookstore and then we went to a bakery because she loves to cook. She loves to bake. And she says, I really want to get a really yummy croissant. Oh. These are like expensive. Yeah. If you go to a bakery and just get a couple croissants to go, they can be like five or six dollars a pop, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on where you are. But I was like, wow, the fact that you can get 20 of these today for less than $40, that's $2 for an imported real French bakery croissant. So you get all the flavor, you get all the flakiness, you get the most incredible melt in your mouth sensation. You get an experience. You get an experience. Right? When you have a real French croissant. And you're doing it, I mean, you're actually getting the real French ingredients. That's the difference here. And this is, croissants are something that you can dress up savory or sweet. Mm. So if you participated in, you know, Scudo and Sons and you got that yes. wonderful There's dinner. My fork. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, please dig in. <laughs> I mean, please. Thought you but would never this ask. Is, like, this is what I call the perfect dinner size, right? So Top Shelf Cuisine is something that we supply Hang on, to, I, gotta, I gotta cut a little piece of this the, before I and, <laughs> put the whole thing these in These are mouth. imported, you know, all over Europe because our bakeries, Top Shelf Cuisine oh, bakeries, so supply to restaurants and resorts all throughout Europe. And our mm. HSN buyers are able to import, isn't that delicious? Like when it's freshly baked from your oven, mm. that's what makes it oh, so yes. special. And our buyers are able to import them here to your homes here. So you don't have to pay any import taxes. You just have to say ding dong, Paris is here in your home. <laughs> that's what's so special. And so- That is kind of amazing. You know, <laughs> I'm telling you. That's kind you, of amazing. You and cannot, you, won't, you won't actually pay shipping if you are getting our today's special. Right. If you're getting it with the sausage. I mean, anything over $75 ships free. You're getting 40 of these. Can you take them out like one at a time? Of or do course. you have to cook them all at the they same time? They come in a resealable bag. Mm. And I'm telling you, this is not what you get at the grocery store. This is the difference here. We are talking about 66 layers of amazing French pastry. I mean, this is not what you get at the grocery store that might be gummy or it might be stale. This is freshly baked from your oven and again you saw what the frozen oh, paste i mean look at the you see the difference in sarah's face i mean i'm i'm I might watching have it myself, be having an okay. out-of-body experience oh, right now oh well excuse me i might move over here a little <laughs> bit but <laughs> no i've left the building it's so good it just like it like it, it reminds me of walking through paris mm. and it was like the best experience like every morning we're like we got to go get a fresh croissant yes every morning and be like, how good, How does this taste so good? And how can you get that experience at home? Maybe you've got wonderful memories of going to Paris. Maybe you have wonderful memories of a French bakery. Uh, oh. But these are not things that you find at the corner store or at the grocery store. And it be it's because of this amazing French ingredients. It is this French sweet cream butter. It is the French flour. It is the French milk. And you will taste it again when you feel mm. the incredible flakiness. Again, straight from your oven, 25 to 30 minutes. It's all about that incredible experience of just treating yourself, treating your guests, treating yourself to something special in and the And because morning. it's so satisfying, because yes. it's so satisfying, yes. you, you don't eat all 20 of them in one sitting. I, well, I mean, in you fact, could. In fact, you could, but, <laughs> I, no, but I think that's the difference. When you have really good, high quality food, when you have really, really fresh bread and you mm. have that really yummy, flaky, buttery taste, mm -hmm. a little bit goes a long way. They yes. make the most amazing yes. breakfast sandwiches with eggs or cheese. They oh, make the most savory yes. lunches. You've got ham and cheese out here. If you've got I, the ham from our today's special, uh, this would make the most amazing amazing ham and cheese sandwich My with your leftovers. My favorite is the chicken salad. Chicken 
chicken salad. Yes. Why is that so good on a croissant? Oh, I forgot favorite. to tell them something, Chris. Yes, yes. I'm so busy yes. eating. Yeah. What? And mm -hmm. ooing and eyeing. You can get this a couple different ways. You're getting 20. So think about how great that is. Mm. It's like $2 a croissant. Mm -hmm. These are imported from France. So incredible value. You can do single shipment or you can do auto shipment. Uh, auto, you can lock in this price uh, and then you get free shipping on all subsequent orders. You can also pick your delivery date. So tell me those dates again. One more time, Mr. Producer. You could either do March 13th or you can do the 27th. But they're gonna go in the freezer. So just they, get it. They get can them now, last right? up to one year in your freezer. Oh, but they're not going to last a year no, in my freezer. No, no, <laughs> never. But they, they could. They don't last a year in my freezer either. Because, you know, I have a neighbor who grew up in Europe, and she tells me all the time, this is so reminiscent mm. of her childhood. And when I'm telling you, when I put them in the oven, your whole house smells like a French patisserie. Because yeah. you start smelling that French sweet cream butter. You start smelling Ooh. that flour, that amazing aroma mm -hmm. and people just start come you know they they run and you know i recently had a bout with the flu and when my, my friends made me that chicken noodle soup this was the perfect accompaniment. Oh, yeah. Forget crackers. I want a croissant. Exactly. With You're soup. gonna love it. these sell out every single time. We're mm -hmm. very busy. If you do want to make sure that you get this home tonight, uh, you gotta order this now. And all you do is place your order online. Follow that little QR code. It's the fastest way to skip right to the front of the line. It'll take you right to HSN. Chris, thank you. Thank They're you, telling Sarah. me to save my appetite <laughs> because carrot cake is next. Can it get any better than this, people? <laughs> Oh, and there's also ice cream mm. coming up at midnight, Eastern time. What about uh, wine? We have wine? Can well, I let's, let's have some around. wine. I'm, I'm going to tell you about some great this. wine from Curtis Stone. Uh, by the way, his wine's also always really popular, so check out all of our great wine values online. Uh, this is from his Four Stone Winery, and he hand selects each one of these amazing wines. Okay, I just saw the size of this carrot cake. It is bigger than my head. It's bigger than Amy Garten's head. It must be time for dessert. It's always time for Where dessert. has this been all my life? Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Amy. Right. It's always dessert time. I'm someone who, when I get to a restaurant, I skip right through all the entrees and appetizers and I find out what's on the dessert menu so I know if I should save room for something. We always save room for anything from David's Cookies. This is an incredible brand of fresh, made to order, delectable treats. Some of the finest natural ingredients. It's been around since 1979, founded by David Lederman in New York City. Amy Garten is here with a brand <laughs> new Carrot cake. We've never, we've never done a carrot cake. No, and it is about time, and it's because it is Easter, and this is the perfect cake to be really the centerpiece, the showstopper of your Easter table. I mean, I think just any table, but especially because Easter's right around the corner, this is the cake tab. I'm telling you, this is the most delicious, creamy, colossal seven pound carrot cake. Seven pounds. Okay, I've never seen a bigger carrot cake in my life. Look it, at the size of this. So it's what, four so layers? It is four, let's talk about what's in this cake. So it is four layers of moist, delicious, made from scratch carrot cake. Now, those carrots inside of there, they are freshly grated. To me. They're not like bags of grated carrots that we grab, no. They are freshly grated carrots inside. You can even see all of those carrots in there. Then we've got pineapple for sweetness. It's like that mm. little hidden flavor. Shredded coconut, uh, cinnamon, butter, and then which there's, one should I eat? Oh, Where's well, the here, biggest piece? I'm going to give you the biggest one. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of kidding, but uh, And there, there's not. delicious, hearty southern pecans all throughout all four of those individual moist cake layers. And then, we don't stop there, but we have made from scratch cream cheese frosting. We're talking real cream cheese, so you get that real tang of the cream cheese, powdered sugar, butter, vanilla, so it is the most creamy, rich, delicious wow. cream cheese in between all four of those layers, and it doesn't stop there. We encrust the entire mm. 
cake, entire 10 oh, inch yeah. colossal seven pound cake with walnuts around the entire cake. It is the most Look at the size of those things. Beautiful, Look at this delicious one in front of me. cake. Yes, and you know what? It feeds up to 28 people. There if you is do no a doubt regular that this slice. will feed 28 people. It's a seven people. pound cake. Here's a party. Here's an anniversary, here's a birthday, here's a celebration, here's Easter, here's Mother's Day, here's Father's Day. Does your mom love carrot cake? Carrot cake's one of those things, everyone has someone in their family, it's their favorite cake. Yes. Right? And my grandmother used to make the most amazing carrot cake, and it became a family favorite in our home as well. But it really is very time consuming to try to make it, to try to get all the fresh ingredients. I don't even have pans this big. I don't have an oven this big to cook a seven pound carrot cake. Seven pounds. Wouldn't you like walk through fire to taste this thing? I mean, it just <sighs> is, I would. I would walk over a bed of hot coals. It really is as good as it looks. Not all carrot cakes. Mm -mm. Are created equal, right? What's, what's the difference? So the difference here is, is that we are using those premium ingredients. Mm. Like I said, freshly grated carrots. And you, I, what I love is you can see all of that in the mm. bottom of the cake. I mean, you look at the bottom of my cake and you see the freshly grated carrots. You see those southern pecans in there. There's shredded coconut. There's um, Pineapple mm. in there for sweetness. You know, it's like a I'm controversial. I'm sending this to my dad. He <laughs> subject. loves do you put, carrot cake. Oh, he does. Does he a raisin mm -hmm. or no raisin? Because we do not put raisins in these, but we use pineapple for <gasps> that bit of sweetness in there. But I'm telling you, it's that off the chain, made from scratch, cream cheese frosting, real cream cheese with that tang, we that powdered sugar and butter. so busy on but this. But I gotta tell you this, so these are gonna come straight to your door, fresh, so they're not even baked yet. When you order and you choose your ship date, that's when it'll be baked, so it will come fresh to your mm. door, stick it in your freezer, it'll stay in your freezer for six months. But guess what? This is what I think is so cool, and David's just did this so brilliantly. You getting this seven pound carrot cake, if you cut into this, so when you when you do want to use I it, I can't even pick it up. Yeah, take it out of your freezer either the night <laughs> Look before. Look at the size of this thing. And it's as big as my head. This is not your traditional <laughs> like, oh I, I I made a cake mix at home style no. pan, right? This is award winning carrot cake, like carrot cake heaven is what it is. Mm. But you're gonna take this out either the night before okay. or the day that you're gonna use it. Let it defrost in your fridge. But the best part is, say you only use half your cake mm -hmm. or you only use a quarter, you can wrap this back up and put it back in your freezer to enjoy it again and again and again. That's what I think is so brilliant. And this is actually, so David's has uh, different divisions of their bakeries. The division that this cake is gonna come from is, from is in here in Florida, which I think is so cool. And it's a wedding cake. Like they actually do wedding okay. cakes. So when people you go to weddings, choose carrot cakes at weddings yes. all the time. They're very popular. Maybe you, you are having a bridal shower, a baby shower, and maybe you do need to feed 28 people and you have no idea where to begin. This is the perfect answer. It if you is. picked up our today's special, you can get prime rib and ham and you can have carrot cake for dessert. Uh, jump right in. Uh, here's the different ordering options. You can get it now. Remember, it's not even baked oh. yet. It's going to be baked in the next 48 hours and shipped immediately. We love that about David's cookies. We love that about giving you that fresh from the oven, incredible flavor. So you can get it now or you can get it on 327. You might wanna get it on 327 if you're like, is there anything more perfect for Easter than a carrot cake? You know, the Easter bunny eats carrots. <laughs> and then, you know, it kind of really became a tradition in a lot of families. Yep. Or maybe you know you're gonna be getting together with family and friends and you want to bring something. What is your contribution? What do you bring when they say bring dessert? You can easily spend this amount of money stopping by a bakery, going to a gourmet store, trying to put together something. This will feed 28 people and it comes down to less than two dollars a person so i have to show giant, you how it comes right? just so you know this is so huge but it comes beautifully wrapped you have it see that it's fully collared so it keeps that nice beauty of the walnuts around it. It's nice and protected. Welcome this into your home. It's gonna come fresh from our bakery. Put it right in your freezer when you're ready to use it. Pull it out the night before or the day of. Stick it in your fridge and it's gonna uh, you know, thaw beautifully. 
Whatever you don't use, wrap it back up and put it back in the freezer and you can reuse it again and again. Again, freshly grated carrots, oh, pineapple, shredded coconut, cinnamon, and that made from scratch cream mm. cheese frosting that mm. is just to die for. Who's making layered cakes anymore? I mean, this is a four layer cake. I like it that you can cut a really thin slice. Yes. Or and a really big get, one. <laughs> or you can cut a really big one. It depends on what kind of day you're having. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but they're all going to taste good. They're all going to be absolutely amazing. I love the size of the nuts. You really get the crunch. You really get uh, the flavor in the nuts, Amy. And you see them. That's what I love. It. You actually look in there close. I see those shredded carrots, those freshly shredded carrots. You see those southern pecans in there. You see one two, three, four layers of delicious, moist, yummy, made from scratch carrot cake. And again, it's seven pounds of a carrot cake at this. It is gonna be the showstopper on your table for Easter or for anything, just to celebrate You know today. what I would do? <laughs> I would tell everyone I made it myself. There you go. It's our little secret. Hey, no one needs to right? know. It would be the most amazing meal, most impressive meal. Check out our today's special, the prime rib or the incredible boneless ham from Scudo and Sons. And check out the amazing carrot cake from David's Cookies. Thank you, Amy. Oh, thank you so Ooh. much. I'm just going to take think, this uh, I think the crew will be coming over for a bite of that. And maybe I'll carry... <laughs>